thanks for joining me again today to draw our way through the alphabet. We have gotten so far in the alphabet, right? We started by drawing something with the letter A, then B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, and you guessed it, today we're going to draw something that starts with the letter X. X is a tricky letter. It has two sounds. X says its name. I'll just say X, and in a word that may be short for Christmas, you would say Xmas, right? So sometimes you'll hear X used in that way, and other times it makes the Z sound sort of sounds like the letter Z, right? Like xylophone? Well, that sounds like that starts with the letter Z, but it actually starts with an X, right? So X is a tricky letter like that. So we're going to be drawing something that starts with the letter X where X says its name, X, all right? So, you know I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'd like you to try and guess while we're drawing, okay? And you just need three things, a piece of paper, marker, and some crayons. And this is going to be a fun one. Let's get drawing, All right? I just move my camera over, All right? Make sure we're lined up, All right? And I have my paper my marker, my crayons, and I'm holding my paper vertically, which means it's longer from top to bottom than it is from side to side. So let's get started. Take the lid off my marker, move my crayons over, get to the center of my paper, trace over, make a dot. Again, center of the paper, trace over, make a dot, all right? And we'll connect those two dots. Let's make a straight line, just like that. Okay. From here, I'm gonna go down a bit, make another dot, and connect these two dots, just like that with a straight line. And again on this side, trace down with my finger, Make a dot, connect those two dots. You know what shape we're making here, right? Has four sides, four equal sides. It looks like it's a square. Let's connect these last two dots with a line. And we have a square. So look at that. Inside this square, we're going to make another one. Okay, so I'm going to get about here, make a dot, over here, make a dot, connect them with a line. I'm just doing the same thing again that we did here, just a little smaller. Again, trace down, make a dot, trace down, make a dot, connect these two dots. Connect these two dots and these two dots. Hmm. So we have a larger square, smaller square inside. I think we need to keep drawing before we make a guess. Right, right down here, let's go make a little rectangle just like that. Same on this side little rectangle just like that. Okay, below this rectangle, make a straight line, another straight line, and connect them just like that. Again here, straight line, another straight line, and connect them just like that. And this end looks like a little rectangle we made. I'll put a circle here, circle here. And the same, you guessed it, on this side. Circle here, 
have a circle here. Okay. I don't know. Starts with that sound that X makes X. Hmm. I think we need to keep drawing. I don't think we're ready to guess yet. All right, right over here, let's go make a little curve, just like that. And again on this side, a curve. Okay, almost looks like two little ears. Onto those curves. I'm just going to add a little scallop. And again here, another little scallop. All right. I still don't think you can guess. This is a tough one. All right. Let's go up here. And I'm going to make two little dots like that. Okay. And I'm just going to connect them with most of a circle, but not the whole thing. So I'm pretending that the rest of the circle is behind the square. So some of a circle. All right. Then I'm going to go down below here, make a little straight line down, another straight line down, another straight line down, so a three straight line down. Just connect them like that. Oh, look it! By doing that, three straight lines down and connecting them, we made two rectangles. So at the bottom of this rectangle, an oval. And the bottom of this rectangle, another oval. Hmm. This is getting very interesting. Kind of looks like there's a person here standing behind the square. Let's keep adding details. I think we need to add some more to our picture. This is a person thinking this is his head. Let's give him some ears. Right? Let's give him a bit of a smile. Some of his smile might be right behind that square. Little nose. Give him some eyes, right? You know how I like to make my eyes, right? I like to color in this part. And I like to leave that white. And I like to color in this part. To leave that white so I can see where the eyes are looking. Well, that does look like a person behind a square. Hmm. Wonder why he's behind a square. X. X. Let's keep going. All right. Keep thinking about that X. And we're going to put a really Right like that. Okay. Then on the side, I'm going to make a smile. Smile like that. Another smile. Another smile. Oh, my smiles are getting a little smaller. Like that. And again on this side, a smile. Right? Or it kind of looks like a banana. Little bit smaller, little bit smaller, and a tiny one at the bottom. Oh, did you guess X ray? Well, you are right. This person is standing behind a machine that's taking an X ray of his ribs. Right? Look at that. X ray starts with the letter X. So let's trace right up here and make an X. X is a great letter to draw, to make, right? Because you're just going to do a slanted line this way and a slanted diagonal line that way. That's uppercase X. Lowercase X, same thing, just about half as big. Diagonal line this way and a diagonal line this way. Uppercase X, 
lowercase x, x-ray begins with the letter x, right? Let's give this guy some hair, right? And put a little part in his hair. He just have his hair combing over this way and a little bit combing over this way, right? You might want to make the person behind the x-ray a girl. You might want to give them a lot of hair, only a little bit of hair. Your choice, right? It's your picture and you get to choose how you want it to look. But together, we drew an x-ray and x-ray starts with the letter X. This is gonna be fun to color in, right? Put my lid on my marker. I think I'm gonna start on his skin. I think I'm gonna make his skin a nice light brown. Right, so I'm gonna take my brown crayon, trace around the eyes so I remember not to color them in. Right. And I'll trace around his head right here. Some of his head, what we said was behind the x-ray machine. I'm just gonna color a nice light brown. Remember we talked about there's so many different colors of skin. And you, your picture, the person you make can be whatever color skin you would like to make them. Right. I'm choosing a light brown. All right. I'm going to make his hands the same color as the skin on his face. So I'm going to trace right on these hands. It's as if he's grabbing around the front of the x-ray machine. Right? And holding on, standing really still while they take his x-ray. Right? It's pretty cool. And I think I'm going to make his hair a nice dark color. Nice dark black. I like that color. Right? I'm just coloring. And you can color a little um, with a little less precision when you're doing hair because hair. Hair kind of goes all different ways, right? So you can kind of have your crayon go some different ways when you're doing hair. Now the thing about an x-ray, it's like a picture of the inside of your body. This one is showing the bones of this boy's body. So the bones come out white in the x-ray and then everything on the rest of the x-ray is like a darker color. So what I'm going to do is leave these bones, like the rib cage, white and color the other part around it a darker color. So I'm going to trace around every bone, right? I'm going to trace right around it so I remember not to color them in. Right? Sometimes you might need an x-ray, let's say Maybe you fall and you break a bone. The doctor may say, I need to take an x-ray to see what's broken. And they just get a little camera and the camera is able to see your bones and take a picture of them so the doctor can see what's going on. X-rays don't hurt. It's kind of like getting your picture taken with the camera. It doesn't hurt. X-ray cameras are able to take pictures of your bones inside your body, right? I'm just going to trace around the square, just like that. And then carefully color around these bones because I want to keep them white, but I want to keep the background dark so they really show up, all right? Just like that. Oh. Right. 
And there's our x-ray of this boy's ribs. That's his picture of his ribs, his x-ray of his ribs. Right? So let's see. We can color the outside of the x-ray machine. Hmm. I think I want to make that a nice bright yellow, kind of contrasts with the rest of the picture. So I'm going to trace around the outside of the machine, around his hands, because I already colored them in. Right here, right, around this hand, like that. And I'll also trace around the x-ray itself, just like that. I'm just going to color this part in yellow. I kind of chose a lighter color because I wanted it to contrast with the darker color. That means I wanted it to look very different than the dark color of the x-ray. Right? Let's color right up here. Right? And I know this is also part of the x-ray machine, so I'm also going to color in these rectangles yellow. Right? And this. Just like that. You could either color them just like that, or if you want a little more direction, you can outline and then color. Right? Then I think I'll make these wheels black. Alright, so let me get that. Get my black crayon. Color in those wheels. And a lot of times x-ray machines have wheels on them so they can take a picture of this little boy's ribs and then they can move it into another room where someone else might need an x-ray and use it there. So that's why our x-ray has wheels on it, right? And then we had these are his pants, right? He's behind the machine. Those are his pants there. I think I'll make them blue, like blue jeans. Right? So, just trace right here. These are his blue jeans. Just like that. And I'm just going to color them in. Just like that. Very nice. And his shoes. Let's see. Let's have some colorful shoes here. Let's give him some bright orange shoes. Right? And those shoes we just made with two little ovals. Right? Simple. That's great. So we drew a picture of something that starts with the letter X. X-ray starts with the letter X, right? So let's move the camera over and we'll talk about our picture. Well, that was fun, right? We drew something that starts with the letter X. We drew a X-ray. And we said an X-ray is like a picture that a doctor can take of the inside of your body. So if you have um, a broken bone or something, maybe you fell and broke an arm or something isn't quite right in your body, the doctor can see inside your body when he takes an x-ray picture. So he can help to figure out what's wrong and he'll know what to do to help you get better, right? So x-rays are very important. X-ray starts with the letter X. So that was great. Oh my gosh, we're all the way up to the letter X in the alphabet. So next time, we're going to be drawing something that starts with the letter Y. We are almost to Z, right? So that was great. Thanks for joining me today. That was a lot of fun. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.